welcome to red tech channel a new way to learn so today in mri i am going to discuss about the type of inversion recovery sequence or you can say ir sequence in this basically types are discussed please watch the previous video before watching this the link is given in the description so let's begin types of inversion recovery sequence basically inversion recovery divided in three types basically types of inversion recovery sequence categorized by their time of inversion what is the timing of time of inversion on that basis we categorized the inversion recovery sequences basically three types uh, where the short time of inversion medium and long time of inversion so in short time of inversion having 80 to 150 millisecond which is time of inversion and that sequence is example star sequence and when we go to the uh, medium ranges which is about 200 to 800 millisecond which is turbo flash sequence and you can say mprg sequence also come under medium range time of inversion sequence and when you go through the long time of inversion which is ranging from 1500 to 2500 which is uh, example of flare sequence which is basically used in the neuroimaging so this is basically we should understand or you can say we should remember the time of inversion of every sequence which categorized in three which is short medium and long when you see that type of sequences you have to remember the time of inversion also which which show the different different sequences and uh, now we look about the physics behind the inversion recovery sequence basically we mainly focus on two sequence star or flare sequence which uh, we use in daily life basically many students confusing in their physics understanding so i discuss about this today so start with star sequence in this basically in this sequence fat signal become suppressed or you can say nullified you can assume that we know that fat is very congested part of our human body where the hydrogen hydrogen proton present in very congested way or you can say very bounded highly bounded state so to get signal from fat we require longer time of inversion because uh, the as the congested part are more then hydrogen proton has to uh, has taken more time than other example like fluid have uh, freely state so fluid signals comes very soon than fat signal so by this way we use in the star sequence that when we apply the time of inversion we take the short time that time which is sufficient for fluid but not for fat so the fat signals when we apply the time of inversion all signals all hydrogen proton come along negative side of uh, longitudinal magnetization but when we turn off the fluid signals become recovery soon but uh, fat signal not so that's why fat signals could not taken and fat become suppressed now look to flare sequence basically in this sequence fluid is suppressed as we know that uh, hydrogen proton is uh, in fluid is very uh, freely state so we require the sh when we apply the short time we can regain the uh, fluid signals but in this case we apply the time of long time of inversion as we know that fluid is in freely state so fluid signals or you can say fluid hydrogen proton are uh, regain its longitudinal magnetization very soon but fat fat signal not so the longer time of inversion gives a leverage to the fat signals then the before that before taking fat signals the fluid signals uh, recovery earlier so they along longitudinal magnetization or you can say net magnetization or positive side of longitudinal magnetization which give no signals in the image that's why in longer time of inversion 
we acquire or you can say we receive the fat signals easily that's why uh, in this basically fair sequence when we put the long time of inversion the hydrogen proton of fat are uh, could be taken but fluid not that's why fluid signals are suppressed or you can say nullified basically in this role in the both sequences time of inversion a uh, key role in understanding about that physics now look the name which is star sequence means short time inversion recovery sequence and flare one is flare attenuated inversion recovery sequence in the star you can say short time inversion that's why we put the short time of inversion that's a better way to understanding or you can say learning that sequence and flare sequence basically fluid attenuated attenuated means to stop something or creating some obstruction so that's why fluid are suppressed so that's all for this video do subscribe if you like and thanks for watching